Well, to me, I'm in one of the most special places in the world. This is North Sydney Oval. I went to school right across the road and I grew up as the ball boy for the North Sydney Bears. I remember sitting up there with my family, watching every game, being so proud that this was my home ground. Probably one of the reasons why I become a landscaper was because I saw how beautiful you can make your backyard. And when I was a kid, this was my backyard. Now, it's not just the oval and my beloved bears that I've brought you here to talk about. I'm talking about another love, my love for lawn. So let's speak to the groundsman, find out what you've got to do so your lawn can look as good as this. Jordan, you look after my favourite oval in the whole world. What's that like? Not a bad place to work, especially this time of year, cricket just around the corner. It's very exciting. What advice could you give a homeowner? Because it's the same thing, just on a small scale. Fundamentals are the same. Uh, we're beginning to take the height down, and, and by doing that, you are getting rid of the mat and thatch in the grass, uh, which is always good to get rid of from the winter season. Um, you can also, if you've got the option, to aerate with a pitchfork or anything else of, of that you variety. You do this with a pitchfork? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, you can um, just a, a springtime feed, and that'll ignite the grass out of dormancy and uh, give you some summer growth. Congratulations. It looks as good as it did when I was 12 years old. It just looks a little bit smaller. To tell you the truth, mate, it's not all good memories. I, uh, I only played here about five or six times in my life, and I lost every game. And I missed the goal from just over there. Do you mind if I uh, have a crack Let's in another go? Let's go one more go. Righto. Get in. My work here is done. Now I'm going to show you my second favourite lawn in the whole world. So from the beautiful manicured North Sydney Oval to the second most important lawn in my life, my parents' backyard. Well, turf's come a long way since I was a little kid and now there's lots of different grasses to choose from. So, the budget end of things, you can still buy Kaikuyu. The next common one, would be Cooch. Now, Cooch is fantastic if you're a retiree and you've got a heap of time to spend on your lawn. Now, this one here, it's called Tiff Tough. Now, it's super hardy. Modern sports fields are putting this in, which would be perfect for a suburban backyard. Can handle shade. What I've got at my place, Sir Walter, it's a broadleaf, softleaf buffalo. It doesn't have the sharp edges like the old stuff. Relatively easy to look after and get a great result out of. And if you want the uh, Penfolds Grange of lawns, well, there's this one, Sir Grange. It's only been in the market in Australia for about 12 months, but there's about 30 or 40 years of research that's gone into it. It's high end, it's a little bit expensive, but you know, you get what you pay for. Now, Dad's lawn looks good, but I know it can look better. So I'm gonna hit it with some fertilizer because spring is the perfect time to get your grass growing. Now, there's lots of different ones to choose from, but because this is looking a tad tired, I'm gonna go with the extreme green. Within three days, because it's got a lot of nitrogen in it, it's gonna green up and look like North Sydney Oval. If you're gonna try and spread it and do it evenly, you can do it out of the bag by casting it, but it's really hard to get it even. For about 30 bucks, you can pick up one of these. There's a control on the back from one to five, depending on the size of the fertiliser. Pull the trigger in, start winding, start walking. Pretty clever, this fertiliser, because some of it works really well in the first three days. That's what's going to green up the lawn. But then there's other stuff in there that slow releases over the next three months. So that's super important. Get it looking good straight away, but look after it long term as well. Now, most fertilisers in the past, you had to put them down, throw them out, and water them in straight away and worry about burning the lawn if you didn't. Where this you can throw out and you can wait for the rain to come or do it on a rainy day because it doesn't burn the grass. Jason, don't be thorough with that because if it grows that big, I'll have to chop it with a bloody axe to get it down. It'll be higher than me. It's I don't slow, want that. It's slow release. You've got to watch Is the it? show, mate. Slow release. So oh, well, yeah, feed yeah. it for three months. Well, I believe you. I won't really. I've got to believe you. 
because you're my son. I know. That's the only reason. Yeah, that's the only Otherwise reason. You Otherwise, they're telling, they're telling lies. <laughs> All right, okay. you, can get, you can go now. Oh, thanks. See ya. What a relief. So to have a beautiful lawn, it does take a little bit of maintenance, but not a lot for the rewards that you get back from it. I mean, the memories that I have in this backyard and at that oval, I'll take to my grave. And every time I think of them, I'll have a smile on my face. So I reckon all the mowing and feeding and watering that my parents did, now I do for my family, is well worth it.